First at five, the DDOT bus tragedy that claimed a woman's life. Good evening, I'm Mike Duffy. And I'm Glenda Lewis. A city bus hit the woman near Griswold and Congress downtown. Our sources confirming this is not the first time the driver's been involved in a fatal accident. Seven Action News reporter Sarah Michaels begins our team coverage tonight live downtown. Sarah Phillison. Glenda, Mike, business owners at this intersection tell me that this victim was actually on her way into work at the Buell building when this bus hit her, taking her life. Somebody didn't see someone. Somebody didn't see someone. That's all Detroit police are saying right now about who was at fault for this morning's tragic accident. They confirmed the DDOT bus was attempting to turn left onto Griswold, and the victim, who we now know as Janice Bauer, was walking across the crosswalk. Her employer, Smart, issued a statement about the event, saying that she worked for them for 10 years as an ADA program coordinator. She loved Detroit, she loved its people, and she never missed a day of work. DDOT also issued their own statement, saying the bus driver was immediately taken off the road. Drug and alcohol testing is being performed and an investigation is being conducted. Our team did confirm with a source that the driver was involved in another crash in 2015 where they fatally hit a man taking his bike off the front of the bus. Here's all Detroit police shared about the driver this morning. The bus driver is traumatized. I mean, unfortunately, this was uh, an unfortunate incident down here at this point in time. It's a very tragic situation. Um, Nobody expected it. And we won't be releasing the name of the bus driver at this time, but DDOT has confirmed that she worked for the company for 26 years. And you can probably hear just how loud it is around us. That's because all of this took place right now this morning with the Grand Prix starting just a block over. All right, Sarah, thank you. Yeah, we can see right where it was there. Yeah, so Seven close. is so close. Seven investigator Ross Jones joining us now. And Ross, you've investigated that first deadly crash involving that driver years ago, and that driver was allowed to remain on the job. Glenda, that's right. We found out at the time that the driver was retrained and allowed to return to work. That is, despite the fact that this crash cost a man his life and the city of Detroit millions of dollars. Joey Davis was a passenger on that, bus, dri on that bus driver's bus in April of 2015. He was retrieving his bike from a rack at the front of the bus. Surveillance video showed that driver appearing to look in the rear view mirror when she took her foot off the brake and drove over Davis, killing him. Now, Davis's family sued and the city settled for $4.5 million. The city now says it has begun a full internal review as to whether it has the proper internal and labor relations processes in place to prevent accidents involving city bus drivers going forward. All right, Ross, thank you. And we will, of course, continue to dig into this story, bring you the very latest on later editions of 7 Action News.